Hello, people. Good Hi, evening. Teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, guys. Are you moving with the Friday dance? Ah, or you have to work tomorrow? Some of you have to, right? You have to move. I mean, to, to not to move, to work tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Hi, Hello, good evening. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Mm -hmm. Activate your cameras. Come on, everybody. Ileana, Vilma, Priscila, Neida, Jonathan, Oved, Carlito. So activate cameras. I want to see you. There you are. <laughs> Having dinner? Having dinner, Prissy? Yes. Oh, so enjoy, Sorry. Enjoy your meal. Yes. Don't worry. You can continue, you know, with uh, your food. That's not a problem. Melvin is joining us right now. Well, I, I had pupusas for dinner today. What are you having, Prissy? Beans and bread and cheese. Oh, the delicious <laughs> Salvadoran. Yes. Dinner. Yeah, that's the most delicious. Yes. Right on, on earth. Very good, guys. Okay. Let's wait for the rest of the class, but we have to remember what we studied yesterday. So I need a volunteer to activate microphone and say, teacher, I want to participate. I want to say what we studied yesterday. Anyone? Yeah, uh, we saw preposition of, of place. Ah, we studied the prepositions of place, but three specifically, right? Yes. Which ones? In. In or at. Okay. <laughs> at the same time, Isaac and Claudia. At, right? On and in. At. In, in. Right? Very good. Very good. We were analyzing, studying, and practicing how to use them because there are some fixed expressions also, right, that contain one of the prepositions that we studied. Excellent. Give me two examples, Ileana, with uh, on. Miss Guzman Villatoro, Ileana, give me two examples of phrases, you know, with the preposition on. The microphone, the microphone, please. You, you have the microphone off. Hello, teacher. So just give me a minute, please. Ah, I'm it's working. Still at work, at work right now. Yes, yes. That is one expression. I am at work, at work, right? That's one. Okay, thank you. Thank okay. you, Ileana. Continue, first. don't worry. <laughs> but I'm I'm asking for examples with on. So anyone? Hi. Hi, Carlitos. At Be work. Wise. The same, the same teacher, same situation here. Okay, Obed, Obed is paying attention to the class. He's with camera activated. So Obed, give me two, two examples of on. Phrases with on. On the table. Uh-huh. Uh, um, uh, how do you say pared? <laughs> on the wall, on the wall. On the wall. Okay, on the wall. great. Rigo with at. Rigo. Uh -huh. the... Hello. Hello, Rigo. So two two combinations with preposition uh, uh, at. Sorry, at. Mm, I get up at seven. Mm. But preposition of place. That is a preposition of time. A preposition of place at. So uh, we place. started yesterday. My friend is uh, at, at home. Aha, uh -huh, great. That is number one. I, I am asking you for two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can say my co-workers, right? My co-workers are 
at a club, at a, at a pub, right? At a bar right now. <laughs> and yeah, I am right taking classes. <laughs> to be later. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You can say also at a party, right? At the bus stop. Remember that that is to specify exactly the point, you know, or the location of a person, of an object, etc. Okay, that's what we were studying yesterday. Today, we will continue with more prepositions of place because there are many, my friends, there are many. But I wanted you first to get familiar with the three because um, sometimes they are like kind of confusing, right? And, and that's, that's natural that at the very first time, the topics sound like kind of... Uh, difficult right so let's see the class objective is here i don't know if i have a volunteer to read it someone who can say me again participation claudia thank you very much class objective at the end of the lecture participants will be able to ask and tell people the specific location of place and directions so around it the workplace oh very good thank you cloud nice at the end of the lesson right you guys will be able to ask and tell people the specific the the specific location of places right and directions or directions because both pronunciations are valid you can say directions or directions okay and they the two are okay surrounded you know surrounding their workplace excellent what what class is this one guys this is class number 23 yeah so we are about to we are about to say bye bye you know so that's amazing that's incredible you know how fast the time goes agenda it's pretty much the same the that's the steps or the stages that we always follow, right? There's a way and a time for the welcome, then the warm up activity, which is coming, right? Then the class presentation, the development, the production, where you develop a task, right? That could, can be speaking task or listening, and the wrap up. Okay, let's move. To this, you know, the warm-up activity. And let's remember the vocabulary we learned yesterday. Yesterday was full of new words for some of you, right? So let's go to the warm-up. The warm-up is here. It's a, a hangman, okay? Okay, look at this. We have some hearts, look, some balloons in a shape of a, of a heart, right? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. That is the number of lives you have available. If they all go off, si explotan, if they all explode, what happens? You are hanged, my friends, right? And you don't want to be hanged this Friday. Yes, so here we go. What is the occup, I mean, not the occupation, what is the place that is, is hidden here? Give me letters. P? C. Letter, no, P. P, like potato. Yes. Okay, P, P, P. No, there is no P. Uh, letter A. 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 Yes, there is one. B. B. La uh, sin balloon, right? B. Erika, this one? Erika Diaz, yeah? I yes. think, I think. Ah, you're thinking, you're thinking. <laughs> but you, you don't have Yes. To... Yeah, okay, go ahead, teacher. Yeah, let's try. C. Yeah, Letter C. One. Ah? N. Oh, no, N. no, N. 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 This is Q. easy. Yeah. K. 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 Place is a bank, bank, right? Bank where you get money. What about here? It has more letters. 
A. A, let's start with the vowels. That's a very good, <laughs> but oh, no, Ellen, A. a. There's no A. E? B. E. Okay, let's try with the E. Yes, there is one. M. 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 Yeah, there are two. Two M's. Two M's. Museum. 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 Museum, right? Museum. So M U S E U M. Museum, right? Very good. Museum. Okay. Well, how about this long one? <laughs> Look, it's a little, a little Hola. long. E. E. <laughs> yeah, there is a me. More vowels. A. A. Of course, there are two. A. Restaurant. <gasps> Tal vez. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Restaurant. Good. Yeah, restaurant teacher. Excellent. <laughs> That's very, very, very good. N is missing, right? N and N. N. Yeah. That's amazing. Perfect. Ha! Let's take a look at this one. <laughs> getting hotter, hey. getting hotter. E? E, okay. Yes, Neida Patricia. Four E's are there. Letter C? Letter D? C. Or, or B? C. C. Yes. Yes, there is one. <laughs> How about my, my other students? Ah, uh, S. S. No, there is no S. So the, D. 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 Yeah, there is one. M. M. Letter A. Yeah, and also A. Yes, guys. L. L. Yeah, of course. Two L's. R. 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 Uh-huh. Uh, e. Huh? E. No, E. E. E is here. I uh, mean, you already mentioned it. You know, the E is here. I, I maybe. I. 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 I, 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 I. Yes, there is one. H. Letter H. H. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Machine. Machine. L? L. L was mentioned. It's here. O. 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 Yeah. B. G. B. Ah, B, B. No. Uh, mm. Where listen guys Letter F F F C. No C U T Ah yes and you Yeah automated teller machine <laughs> Where do you go guys when you need money Where do you get it Where do you withdraw money De dónde retira dinero ah automático you can oh. say you can say automatic teller machine or oh. automatic teller machine, right? Automated or automatic, both possibilities, right? Very good. And here, D, e? D, e. e. ah, E, no, A, A, A. yes, two, M, M, no. B. B. No. H. <laughs> A. M. A. Uh, no. Ah, uh, 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 B. Letter T. C. B. Yes. Ah, B. B, B yeah, B. B. There is one. And you have only two lines. Yes. And. Uh, yes. This is very popular in in New York. 
it's a kind of uh, well no i'm not gonna give you clues that's, that's no <laughs> this is a students against teacher right so i'm not gonna help you okay more okay. more letters you 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 very good. I guess you got way a station. Do, do got do w, w, right? Subway and Y, teacher. Yo creo que las letras que no me dijeron son las que no se han aprendido todavía. Station, right? T. There are there are two T's and then a N. I. 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 And M. Subway. Station. Do we have a subway station in El Salvador? No. 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 Por eso no la sabían, no, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> what about this one? This is going to be the last one. E. 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 Yes, Jonathan. A. 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 No. No. I. I. S. No. T. I. T. S. W. S. O. O. Sí. O. Ajá. M. 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 No. T. B. T. Yes. R. 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 Excuse me? Game store. Game store. No, no, no. Dijo la palabra, no era esa. Ajá, ajá. Sorry. Ya la tienen, ya la tienen, chicos. Look. Drugstore. Uh -huh. Drugstore, teacher. Yes, uh -huh. got the drugstore. <laughs> or pharmacy. Yes, drugstore or pharmacy is the same. Okay. Because of the time, por el tiempo, yes, because of the time, we could it here, <laughs> right? But thank you very much because you remember, you know, the vocabulary we studied yesterday. That's nice. And I have extra you know extra words some of the words are that we mentioned yesterday are here but there are other words right traffic lights street this is a square right una plaza the zebra crossing zebra crossing yeah. or crosswalk crosswalk right a zebra crossing or crosswalk. Then you have the pavement or sidewalk. Sidewalk. Here we have the park, right, which is known. A railway station or train station, bar or cafe, right? Teacher, but it has this thing that we call in Spanish acento. Yes, because you refer to the place. What you drink is the coffee, right? Where you go to drink the coffee is a cafe, okay? Hay pocas palabras en inglés que llevan una, una tilde como esa porque vienen derivadas de otro idioma, okay? For example, resume, eh, fiancé, right? And café. Fiancé comes from the French language, right? Café, in this case, from the Spanish, and it was adopted by English. Okay, then we have factory, yes, supermarket, cinema, bank, post office, school, hotel, hospital, airport, stadium, restaurant, and car park. Okay, we have more. In the city, guys, we find the city center in the British English and the city center in the American English. Notemos como un poquito cambia el spelling, miren, look, city center, UK, English, British English, and city center like this, from the American version, okay, American English. Then we have car park, British, and parking lot. ¿Cuál va a escuchar más usted? Quizás esta segunda, ¿por qué? Porque estamos más expuestos al American, okay, American English. But you can also listen to car park if you are exposed to a listening that comes from the British, you know, uh, English. Then we have telephone box. This is a telephone box or telephone booth. 
Have you ever watched The Kissing Booth? Si ¿Sí ha visto esa serie de Kissing Booth on Netflix? So, this is a telephone booth, right? Booth. Look at the pronunciation. Listen, booth. 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 Similar to teeth. You know, the final sound. Then you have the pavement. Is this one, right? Or the sidewalk in the American English. Sidewalk. Lo que llamamos nosotros acera, andén. Okay? That is the sidewalk. Sidewalk. Then, nowadays, it has become very popular, the cycle path. La ciclovía o el espacio para que anden los, los, los chicos en bicicleta. So that is the bicycle path. Right? And then we have the traffic jam. This is the traffic jam class. Congestionamiento, right? Street lights, right? These are the street lights. No los confundamos con traffic light. Street lights are these, you know, the ones we have on the sides of the streets, the lanes, right? Crossroads. This is a cross road, right? Mm. Where we find two streets that join, right? So this is a crossroad. And then we have the flyover or overpass, right? Popular Over. in San Salvador. This is, you know, in, in, in cities like Zacate, Coluca, we don't find these things, right? But the overpass and then the underpass, right? Underpass. Over, la palabra lo dice que, Pasa por, en, por eh, encima, ¿verdad? Y el otro es underpass. Underpass. How, how do you call in Spanish underpass. this one? Paso de, a desnivel, ¿verdad? Yes. Over, overpass. Yes, overpass. Pero en este caso el overpass es un paso elevado, right? Paso elevado. And this one, the underpass is paso a desnivel, right? So we have here roundabout. Isaac mentioned this yesterday. Isaac lo mencionó, ¿se acuerdan, verdad? Isaac, you mentioned this, right? Teacher, how do you say it? the rotonda, right? The roundabout. And then you have the pedestrian crosswalk. And what, is the, what is the meaning of pedestrian, teacher? These two people are pedestrian. Peatones, it's, right? Yeah. Pedestrian crosswalk. O sea, el cruce peatonal, yes? Pedestrian crosswalk. Then we have a road sign. This is a sign and the traffic lights. Okay? So get ready if you don't have questions about pronunciation here. So, or meaning, we can move to the next activity, which is a video. And uh, I need you to identify the actions and the information that they mention about the places around the city. Okay? So activate your listening skill because now we are going to try to understand what they say here. Little Smart Planet presents The City, Parts of the City. This is our city. It's really big and there are so many things to do to see. Come, let's go and explore it. The school is a very important place because it's where children go to learn. At break time, they go out to the playground. The park is full of people who go for a walk. There are also animals. In the evening, you can go there to play. Oh, look, a police car. It's probably going to the police station. The police station is full of policemen. They are in charge of keeping the city in order. At the supermarket, you can buy everything you need. People carry a shopping cart for the groceries. Oh, it smells so good. It must be a bakery. The baker cooks bread and cakes in the early morning. The museum is where the great paintings and art pieces are kept, so we can go and see them. 
There are always tourists taking pictures. Look, there is a line of people. They must be waiting for the theater to open. There is a great play tonight with incredible actors. Theater is fun. This is the swimming pool. Here you can come and swim any day, even in the winter. This is the city hall. It's where the mayor works. The mayor makes sure everything is fine in the city and takes care of its people. Oh, a fire truck. If we follow it, I'm sure it will take us to the fire station. The fire station is where firemen rest after putting out fires. The hospital is another really important building. This is where people come to get better when they are ill. The hospital is where doctors and nurses work. They cure people. Look, a bus stop. Here is where you wait for the bus when you want to move around the city. Hello, bus driver. We have finished our tour around our city. Isn't it incredible? Isn't it incredible, people, how, you know, all the places in a city work? What do people do, you know, at schools? Mm -hmm. Based on what the video mentioned. Kids go to learn. People go there to learn, right? People go there to learn, right? Very good. What happens with the park? What is mentioned about the park eh, through the video? Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know, teacher. I don't remember. <laughs> the people go to walk. Animal. Okay, people there go are there animals. to walk. Uh huh. To walk their animals, their pets, right? Their pets. Their pets. Uh huh. Nice. And and how about the fire station? Um, the firemen work there. Fire, uh, fire work truck. or rest. Rest. Yes. They rest because they actually rest. Okay, work okay. during during a fire, right? When I they have to put it. So. Okay, very good. And how about the police police station? What does the video say about the police station? They keep the sitting murder uh -huh. or in order. Yes, in order. Uh huh. And what else? Only that? Mm. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Only that, teacher. Don't ask more questions, please. Okay. okay. Let, <laughs> let's see, guys. You know, I have to move to this part. You're going to uh, talk a lot. You know, this is the speaking point for today. Yeah, all of those questions, you know? Um. It is important for you to talk, for you to, it is important for you to use the language, right? The questions that I bring to every single class are in, they have an intention and the intention is that you can produce, you know, and express your ideas in the target language, in English in this case, right? And uh, the idea of these questions is that you realize about the vocabulary you don't have. ¿Qué hacemos si no tenemos el vocabulario? Preguntamos, how do you say, teacher, this word? How uh, can I say uh, this expression? No nos quedamos solo con la duda, ¿verdad? O cómo querer decirlo. These questions bring the opportunity to the students, you know, to in a way investigate or to ask the teacher or classmates how to express the ideas in English, right? Not to stay quiet, you know? No, that's not my purpose. My purpose is that you, at uh, the end, you know, can um, express your ideas, right? And the question number one says, about how many people live in 
your town or city. Here you have to mention an, an, an approximate number, okay? Not the exact number of people who live in your city because I know that you are not Google, you know, that you don't have all the information, but at least you can say, well, I guess um, about 10,000 people living in my city. Creo que como 10,000, right? I, I think there right. are 10,000 or around 10,000 people living in my city, right? What is your favorite park? That's, you have to mention the, the park. And why do you like it? The reason why you like it? And where is it located, right? Number three, what is your favorite place to go shopping? ¿Dónde prefiere ir? A comp de compras, yes? What is your favorite place to go shopping? You can mention, well, my favorite place to go shopping is uh, La Tiendona, right? Or oh, my favorite place to go shopping is um, Mercadito de Merliot, right? Or oh, my favorite place to go shopping um, is Metro Centro, right? So you have to mention places from your city. Why do you like it and where is it located? Are the, the following questions, right? Four, what are three good things about your town or city? Three characteristics that are positive. You can say, oh, the three good, good things about my city is that it is clean, it is organized, right? And it is, let's say, fresh. You see, three characteristics, clean, organized, and fresh, right? You can mention others. Uh, five, who is the mayor? Mayor, what is the meaning of mayor, <coughs> teacher? For example, in Zacatecoluca, Orsi Moreno is the mayor, you know? I don't know in San Miguel who the, who the mayor is. In San Salvador is Duran, right? So mayor, the mayor of your town or city, yeah? Number six, do you prefer living in a small town or a big city? You have to say why. Oh, I prefer to live in a small town. Why? Because, yes? Oh, a big city. Why? Because you have to give reasons. Seven, describe the area around, in this case, not school or college. I need you to describe the area around your workplace. Okay, your workplace. Eight, do many tourists visit your town or city? Why or why not? Nine, Compare your town or city with another town or city in your country. You can say San Salvador is more uh, beautiful than, I don't know, Soyapango, right? Etc. How was your town or city different a hundred years ago? Maybe you don't have like a very clear idea, but at least you have heard to your grandpas or grannies talking about how the city was, you know, some time ago, okay? So, questions about the questions? Do you have questions about the questions, class? No, teacher. No, are you sleeping? <laughs> <laughs> are you so tired that you are sleeping right now? I don't think so, right? I don't think so. Okay, uh, the questions are now there on the on the chat you know whatsapp chat look for the questions and then let's go to the breakout rooms right so listen don't uh try to get in the breakout rooms tiene que entrar a los breakout rooms chicos y no deja a sus compañeros solo allí solitos esto no es break time que okay? es Es momento de que usted socialice y para eso eh, tenemos los break rooms, ¿ok? No es para que ¡Ah! ahorita vamos al break room, me voy a ir al baño. No, o me voy a ir a comer y dejo aquí a Isaac, ¿verdad? No. So, because I have 
I have noticed that some people are with cameras off, with microphones off, and then the other person is, I mean, basically alone, you know? And the idea of this is to discuss, to, to get, you know, engage with the discussion, with the sharing time, right? So here we go. And help each other, people, help each other. If the person makes a mistake, so try to help. It's, you know, basically what, what I look for um, with these activities. Let me see. I'm going to make groups of three as usual. Try to join the breaker rooms. Ceci, alone. It's individual. No, no. I'm going to send someone here. Okay? Ya le envío. Yes. Uh -huh. ah. Your partner is here now. <laughs> okay. Good. Hi. Hi. Hi, Cecilia. Repitiendo mucho. Yes. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? No sé qué vamos a hacer. Está Erika ahí. I don't know, Quintanilla. ¿Y la Erika por ahí? Hernández o Díaz. Uh, aprox a Nedwin a you seven no 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 sé cómo decir como uno es que seven thousand diez mil ten thousand okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, city. How, how many people live in your Calcul town? Calculate. Uh, uh, what? Uh, and you, and you, and you, Evie. Uh, me, 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 me. me. Uh, uh, in my city, uh, calculate. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. Uh. Number one is. Uh. About how many people live in your town or city or city? Oh, see, okay. Uh, in my city, uh, I think lives around um live around <laughs> one thousand or no ten thousand ten thousand people. Okay, I think. Um and you? Uh, the garden, no. Yes. 
I didn't go there. Okay, and I went through. Uh, my favorite place to go is Galleria. Oh. Because they are a lot of restaurants and you can, you can eat whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> And where it's located is in San Salvador. So I go to San Salvador on Saturday and then I go back on Sunday. <laughs> okay, number four. Has the park has a beautiful view or oh, beautiful la lands landscape okay y también este hay food comida food sí uh -huh. there, there are food ajá uh -huh. este delicious sabes uh, teacher is there is or there are food. If you refer, if you refer, Rigo, that there, there are different types of food, you can pluralize it. You can say there are different kinds of delicious foods, right? Mm -hmm. But if you talk about the food, I mean, in a general way, so you say food is, right, in a singular form. It can be plural only when you refer to the types of food. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next question, what is your favorite place to go shopping? Where do you like it? Where is, where is it located? <laughs> In my case, mm -hmm. my favorite, favorite place is... Plaza Mundo. <laughs> Plaza Mundo, huh? Why do you like it? Because it's near to my my home, and there are many many stores stores, and I and I found and I found that I that I that I need. Where is located? It's I... located in Soyapango. I can help you with that, Rigo, and I find what I need. I, I find. I find what I need. What? I find that I need. No, what I need. What? What I need. Ah, uh -huh. what I need. What I need. Ah, what I need. Okay. Yesenia? Uh, my favorite place to shopping is Metro Centro. Para decir que está ubicado, si te quiera y location o cómo? Location. Location. Located. Ajá. Uh, uh -huh. San Miguel. With the verb to be, yes. It is located. It is, it is located. In San Miguel. So okay. you go to Metro Centro San Miguel, right? My mm -hmm. favorite place to go shopping is Metro Centro San Miguel. Obed. Eh, pasa mundo. <ríe> Guay. <ríe> Me quedas. Eh, the city is not too big, so move to the house at work is very fast or more fast to San Salvador. Okay. Um, um... For me, oh, yeah. the three good things mm -hmm. is it doesn't have many traffic. Mm -hmm. um, Everything is near, I think. Yeah. Um, 
the weather is <laughs> crazy because sometimes hay mucho viento. Mm, it's windy, I think. Yeah, I sometimes it's it's windy. It's windy. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss. And hot, but it's yeah. nice because mm -hmm. I I I could I could to the big yeah. girl. Yeah. Her name is Ronald. I don't know that name. Last name? Mm, I Ronald. don't know. Ronald. San Marcos. Ronald. San Marcos. Really? Mm, no. Oloculta. Oloculta. His name, Mercedes. Your name? No. His name is Ronald. His yes, the mayor. Name. The mayor. His name is Ronald, right? Teacher. Yes, Erika. Nosotros en Soyapango no tenemos. Ah, no, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> Dale. Dale. <laughs> he is in prison. That's that's uh -huh. yeah, yeah, that's true. But uh, I mean officially <laughs> she is still the, the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> right, because legally, I mean, she continues being the, 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 the mayor, right? So you can say her name. Usted dígalo, because she is the official, right? The official uh, mayor of that city. But I don't remember her name. You know, what's her name, Erika? ¿Cómo se llama? I don't remember. You don't remember. <laughs> but she's no. in prison right now. <laughs> she yes. is ba behind the, the bars, right? Behind the bars. Tras las rejas, mire. <laughs> okay. Do you prefer living in the small town or a big city? I uh, I think is uh, you can oh, I I don't know I don't know why but but okay I don't know why but okay, uh, me I don't have a uh, problem with Hello. Hello. Yeah. Oh. Um. All is all is near. All is near and. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm climate is cool. Climate is. Is cool. Mm -hmm. Um. Only and number five. Uh, wait. Mm -hmm. Number five. Who ah. is the who is the who mayor? Is the mayor of your town of city. town or city? Uh, the mayor of town city is. Uh, Wilfredo Salgado. Salgado. It I, 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 I don't know, no remember. <laughs> <laughs> no remember. <laughs> you mayor no more for eating. <laughs> what? No, no remember. I don't know. No remember. Oh. <laughs> no remember. <laughs> <laughs> um. Six. <laughs> and your Will Salgado. Yes. yes. Uh, Will Salgado. Pues vamos. 
for, for new ideas or for arena FML. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 eh, is Ghana. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Number six, do you six. prefer living in a small town or a big city? Why? Mm -hmm. Prefer living is a small town. A small town. Why? Yeah. Is más tranquilo, no sé. Is living a uh, living part of small town. Mm -hmm. For peace, paz, tranquilidad. <laughs> okay. It's here. Here. And you, Felipe, a small town or big city? Uh, a small town. A small town. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Why? And you? Ah. Uh, um. Ceci, you finished with the discussion? Cecilia? Okay, everybody. Yes, teacher. Everybody. Yes, teacher. everybody yes, estaba en, en, el, en el grupo y estaba presionando y no me salía la pantalla. Okay. <laughs> So let's see, guys. Let's see what what you got from these questions, right? I understand if you didn't finish because there are many questions, right? And there are many things to say about those questions. So if you didn't finish all of them, no problem. Yes, relax. We are going to um, socialize right now, right? I was listening to some people. You were doing a great job. Um, but don't be stingy. You know, some people are stingy here. Algunos son tacañitos con la, con la información. You, you know, you go only for, uh, you go all the time for the, the short version of the, of the answer, right? No, the more you talk here is, the better for you because you practice more the language, right? So don't be stingy with English. English is not about telling or saying the truth all the time. It's about creating, okay? In that way, I use a language and I practice what I'm learning in the classes, right? That's the idea. Let's see, question number one about how many people live in your town or city? Some people were having problems with the, with the numbers, you know? Uh, Prissy, how many? How many people live in your your town or city? Or how many do you think live there? Uh, I think around, I don't know, 10 or 11,000. 10 or 11,000. What's the city, Prissy? San Miguel. San, oh, yeah, many. More, <laughs> yes. more than 10,000, I believe, you know? It's like maybe 25,000, San Miguel is big. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, very good. How about you, Bessie? The same question. Uh, I live uh, at about 15,000. Uh, 15,000, okay. There are about, yes, 
15,000 people in my city. Okay, there are about, there are about 15, 15 people, people in my city. In my city. And what's the city? Soyapangoli. Oh, yeah, Soyapango is crowded, right? It's a it's a big, big city. Um, let's see. Obed, your favorite park. Second question. What's your favorite park and why do you like it? Uh, I don't have favorite park. <laughs> I don't have a favorite park. Why? No. Why don't you have a favorite park? Uh, <laughs> um, no. No me gusta. <laughs> I don't like them. I don't, I don't like them. I am a shy no. person teacher. I want to be at home all the time. <laughs> okay. Yes, yes. I'm not a sociable person teacher. I don't go no. to parks. <laughs> I like my house. <laughs> okay. My house is my favorite place. You can say that. Okay. My house is my favorite place. Right? Oh, good. So how about you, Rigo? Do you have any favorite park? Or are you like Obel that he prefers his <laughs> house? <laughs> In my case, my favorite park is El Principito. <gasps> That's a beautiful park and very popular in our country. Why do you like it? Because you can go to walk with your pet. Uh -huh. And there are many, many kinds of food. Exactly. And the weather, the weather is very fresh, mm -hmm. and the the space is free. That's right. Very good. Very good reasons. Excellent. Excellent, Rigo. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see, Edwin Gerardo Amaya. Tell me about the question three. What is your favorite place to go shopping? Edwin, you are mute. Your microphone is off. <laughs> Hombre, My Edwin, hablaba y hablaba y hablaba. No, you you missed the opportunity. <laughs> okay, tell me. Uh, my favorite oh. place to go shopping in, in Despensa Familiar. Uh -huh. Place for sí. place. Uh, the Little. prices, ah, okay. The prices price. are good. Mm -hmm. Low uh, prices. Low, ah, it's low, low prices. Uh huh. Uh, uh where do we, where do we like it? For low prices, is located in San Salvador, in center. Ah, in the, in the center of San Salvador. Uh huh. Yeah. Low. Locator, okay, locator, locator. Don't say locator, okay? Locator, no, locator, yes, locator. Yeah. Ah, very okay. good. So those are the reasons. Good prices, good quality teacher, and it's near my house, you can say, right? Oh, it is near in, in the, near okay, in the center of the <laughs> Let's now listen to you. Yeah, you, Isaac. <laughs> What are three good things about your town or city? Okay. Um, two things that I like. Three? Uh, Not two, first, three. The first, uh, there, are many, there are many places to buy or visit. Uh -huh. uh, for example, I have uh, uh, Plaza Merliot. We have uh, La Gran Villa. Uh-huh. And multiplaza, there are many places to visit. Uh -huh. And the other, uh, we have many places to to make exercise. To do exercise. Uh, yes, because uh, Bicentenario Park is near my home. Too. Mm -hmm. um, and the other one. And uh, how, you can, how about the weather? The weather. Oh, the weather is 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 nice. Mm -hmm. uh, how, uh, for example. Uh, if you go to to Bicentenario Park, is is a little cold. Uh huh. Yes. The, the, because yeah. of the vegetation, right? There are many trees yeah, around. 
it's a kind of high place, right? So yeah. the weather is, is nice. The, yeah, it, it, it has a good weather. Mm -hmm. And the other, you can take the bus near your home, okay? Oh. <laughs> near my home. I can take the bus near my home to go to, to San Salvador, to go to Santa Tecla. And you, if you go to, if you wanted to go to, to the beach, you can go to, uh, to the La Gran Vía and you take the bus. Oh, there. everything is near. Yeah, right? is everything is near. All, yeah. all the places are near. Fantastic. Yes. That's great. It's great to know that you live in a place like that one. I yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. You. Now let's see. Yesenia, who is the mayor of your town or city? Do you know the name? Question five. Um <laughs> is the Choto is a guy. Ah, Will Salgado, the, the, the Choto guy. The Choto. <laughs> the Choto guy, very good. You know, if you ha had to evaluate what what number from one to ten do you give to him? No comprendo que me pregunta. If you had to grade, you know, his work, Si tuviera que evaluarlo y darle una nota, okay? If you had to, to grade his performance as, I mean, as a mayor, right? So how would you would you grade him? Um, seven. Seven, okay. That's not bad, not bad. I give one to my mayor, you know? I give one to, to the one from Zacate. So seven, it's very good, right? <laughs> Very good, nice. Mercedes, question uh, six. Do you prefer living in a small or a big city? I prefer living in a big city. In a big city, really? Why, why Mercy? Because more, because there are more shops, mm -hmm. hospital, restaurant mm -hmm. there are more shops so are you a chopaholic person are you a chopaholic person because you say that there, there are more shops and do you consider yourself as a shopaholic mercy no no <laughs> but for mm -hmm. convenience uh, i mean it's good to have you know a grocery store a uh, clothes store near your house, right? Better than living very far from the city. Okay, the same question to you, Melvin. Question six, Le uh, do you prefer living in a small or a big city? Mr. Aguilar? Melvin? Uh, hi, teacher. Hi. Okay, question six for you. Um, Do you prefer living in a small or a big city? I I have no no preference. You don't have any preference, whatever mm. teacher. But at least I I I live. Yeah, I live in 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 some place, right? <laughs> it yes. doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to me, right? That's what you can tell me, right? Doesn't matter, teacher. I don't have any preference, right? Yes. Okay. I prefer you know, living in in a small town. You know, big cities are crazy. Everybody is in a hurry all the time, and there is more pollution. Yeah, hay más contaminación. You know, the bigger the city is the more polluted it is too, you know? All the buses and all the cars, you know, in traffic. So I prefer living in a small town. There are more trees, you know, and fresh fresh air, I believe. But that's my opinion, right? So very good class, thank you. I'm sorry if I don't ask everybody, but we have to move. Okay, check. We have these prepositions of location. Some of you were using them unconsciously, but using them, and that's perfect. So some of the, I'm going to erase this, 
No vaya a ser que la interpretemos como located is a preposition teacher. No, right? Okay, so we have above, we have in front of, we have behind or behind if you want. Both pronunciations are okay, behind or behind, right? Next to, between, on, and in and under, right? In and under. We can add also to the list of prepositions of place, the preposition near, right? That, that's another preposition. We can use also the preposition far, right? Um, across from, yeah, across from. We can use also the preposition beside, right? These are other prepositions, above, in front of, behind, next to, between, on, in, under, near, far, across from, beside. Okay, what other prepositions do you know, guys, that are not in the list? Do you know any other preposition of place or preposition of location? Inside. Inside, uh-huh, that's another one. Inside. Inside, around. Around. Uh-huh. Um, Only those? So far? Okay, so far these ones, right? How to use these prepositions, my friends? How do we use them? And what is the function of all of them? Okay, they all have a meaning. Yes, an individual meaning. Let me change presentation so you can have a better idea. Okay, you're gonna tell me where the monkey is. The question is going to be, where is the monkey? And you have to use a preposition of place to tell me where the monkey is. Aha, uh -huh. the keywords are going to be on, that's a, a keyword, a preposition. In, and look at the ball, look at the ball. On, in, under, look, that's the meaning of under, right? Next to, next to or beside, right? Beside, next to, in front of, in front of, behind or behind, right? Between, so here we have to mention the two other places, right? Between. Okay, now, where's the monkey here? It's on the box. On the box. On the, right? box. On the box. Where is the monkey? In, in, the box. Box. in the box. In the box. Yes, that's very good. Where is the monkey? On the, table. On, the table. On, the table. on the table. On the table. Very good. Where is the monkey? In, in, the, in the chair. Under. In? No. no. Under. 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 Under, the under the bench. Under the bench. This is a bench, not a chair. Chair is for an individual only. And a bench is longer. You know, it's kind of bigger, right? For two or three. Where is the monkey? Behind. Next, next, to, the next tree. to the tree or beside the tree. Beside. A synonym for next to is beside, beside the tree, right? What about here? Where is the monkey? Between, 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 between the boxes. The boxes. boxes. Boxes, no boxers, okay? Boxes. Don't confuse me. <laughs> oh, teacher, be between the boxers, no boxes, okay? <laughs> And where okay. is the monkey? Oh. Behind the monkey. Ah, yeah. Behind the bike. Behind the bike. Behind the bike. Behind the bike. Right? Or behind. Where is the monkey? In front. In front. From the From the In front of. In front of. In front of the car. In front of. In front of. In front of the car. In front of the car. No. Good job. Now tell me, tell me, people, what do you have in front of you? What is in front of you right now? 
Uh, yes. computer. My, com my computer. My computer. <laughs> ah, my computer is in front of me, teacher. Aha, uh -huh, very good. What do you have next to you? My bed. Your bed. Isaac has his bed next to him. And yes, Ella? my bed is next to A me. chair. A chair. Okay, <laughs> that's great. I, I have a pile of chairs, you know, here next to me. Um, what about Iliana? What do you have next to you? Mm -hmm. The well, the wall, the wall, and, mm -hmm. and what do and you have door. behind you? What is behind you? It's a uh, switch, switch like I don't know, it's correctly. Uh huh, a switch. Okay, very good. And the wall, right. Yes. Is, 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 is that a window next to you? I mean, the one in gray? Is yes. That, uh -huh, there's a window. It's right? a window. Okay, so you have a right. window next to you. Very good. Let's see. Huh. Who's not paying attention? Vamos a ver quién es para preguntar. <laughs> Erika Díaz. No, Erika is always paying attention. Erika, what, what do you have under the chair right now, the chair where you are sitting. Está sentada en una silla, ¿verdad que sí? No, mm, no. Sofa. Bed. A bed. Ah, okay. Bed. What is under your bed? Nothing. Nothing. You don't know? A ghost. <laughs> Nothing. A ghost. <laughs> your bed. Okay. <laughs> ten, ten pairs of shoes, teacher. Ten pairs of shoes. <laughs> and, the, and the dirty socks, right? <laughs> Rigo, what is behind you? The door. The door is behind you. What is um on you on the table? My computer. My computer is on the table. Vilma, what do you have in in your pocket? In so we'll see you. What do you have in your pocket? Maybe one cent. A quarter, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> a penny. Huh? <laughs> 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 oh, nothing, teacher. Nothing is in my pocket right now. <laughs> okay, let's see. Edwin, <clears throat> what is behind you? But what is it? I. <laughs> Microphone. Uh... Window. The Cortana. window is behind me. Window and the curtain. The curtain. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. Mercedes, what do you have next to you? What is there next to you, Mercedes? The door. The door is next or behind? I see it behind yeah. you. Ah, there is another door. <laughs> so Mercedes is surrounded by many doors. Right? <laughs> that is the door's house. La casa de la <laughs> the door. Very good. Very good. Thank you, people. Let's go now to practice. You know, practice is important. So this is very simple. You know, very, very simple. A very simple practice. Just give me a minute because I don't know what's going on with this. Okay, it's here. Okay, this is Here. a practice. Yes. Here. Uh -huh, Rigo? What is the difference between above and on? On. Um on it has to it's like the location of something on a surface. And above can be, you know, over you, right? Like for example, let's imagine you have an air conditioning right now at home. So maybe you are sitting. And it is above you, not on you, right? Above you, sobre, right? That okay. Is, yes, that's the that's the difference. Okay, let's let's take a look at this uh, practice. And tell me, what is the preposition of place that belongs to this, you know, expressions or phrases we have here? For example, let's talk about the airplane. It it, it says the clouds. So where is the airplane? On the, the clouds? Above the cloud. On the clouds? No, above. 
above, above. The above. Um, because the airplane is not touching, right? Apparently, it is not touching the clouds, so it is above the clouds. Yes, it, it higher than that. Above. Let let me let me mark this yes. above. Very good. Now tell me, where is the bear? What is the bear? Bear, bear, bear. Behind the tree. Behind. 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 The bear is behind, behind the tree. Behind the tree. Very good. Where is the copy machine? Next to? Next to the copy machine. Uh, no. Next, the copy machine is next to the copy machine? No. How is that possible? In front of? No, it is next to, yeah, but next to what? Or next to whom? Well, apparently next the to the guy. The, the man. Okay, the man is next to the copy in, machine, right? Next to the copy machine. What about the house? Where is the house? I mean, oh, where is the teddy bear? The bear is in front, in front of, of the house. The bear or the bear? The bear. There is a bear, my friend, not a bear. Bear, bear. Porque es viernes, ¿verdad? This is a bear, not a bear. Bear, bear, mañana. <laughs> ah, yeah. oh, well, tomorrow, tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow. No, water over okay. water. It's water. 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 <laughs> water. <laughs> the bag. What is what is the you know the bag? In in, in the, bag? the bag. What is in the bag? The things. Is the things the in the bag. The bag. Okay. The presents are in the oh, bag. In the in presents. The uh -huh. Okay. What about the, the umbrella? Under. Under. And who is under the umbrella? The girl. The girl. The girl. Under the umbrella. The table. What is on the table? What is on the table? Um, on the table. How do you say platos? The bottles are dish. on the table. The dish is Dishes. on the table. This uh, is the, the salt the shaker. Salt the shaker or the, the jars, right? Los tarros, Jar. Jars, right? The dish on the, the table. table. Okay, uh, on the table. Very good. And the last one, the cake and the bottle. Between the apple, the apple, between the apple, the apple, apple between the cake and the, and the cake, between the cake and the bottle. Very good. Between that's great, that's great, my friends. Excellent. Let's now complete the next other practice. Okay, it's this one. Tell me what is the cat in this picture? Under the box. Is the, the cat is under the box. Under under the box. Okay. I have to drag this. Under the box. And where is the bird? Between the boxes. Boxes. Pluralize the boxes. Ahí. Okay. Boxes. boxes. No boxes. No boxers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where is now? Oh, this no, no. No. Number, two. Number, two. Ah, number two. Number two. Oh, number two. Number two. Number two. Number two. I'm taking you to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> what is number three? Because, because, because it's in, in the box. The box. Ah, in the box. In the box. In the box. Great. Number three. And number four, the bird. The bird, the bird, the bird is on the, on the box. box. On the 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 box. Five, the cat. The cat is in front, in front, in front, of, the box. The box. In front of the box. In front of the box. 
In front of the box, no, falta la preposición of, of right? in front of the box. Number the six, the 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 box. Okay, the box. Let's click on finish class and let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Es un ten. Mm. Yeah, yes, it is. It's a ten. That's great. Now let's practice listening, you know. Yeah. There's a baby. There's a baby. I hear a baby. Is a baby near you? Okay. This is a listening exercise, right? So you listen, people. Match. A matching activity here. Match. Okay. But after you listen. Ready? Keep the microphones off. Okay, here we go, here we go. Page 12, exercise 10, listening. Kate's things. Listen, where are Kate's things? Match the things with their locations. Where are my earrings? Are they on the table? No. Oh, here they are, in my purse. Now, where's my watch? Hmm, it's not in my purse. Where... There it is, in front of the television. Oh, of course. Thanks, Joe. Let's see. My sunglasses, where are they? Next to my watch? No. Are they behind your purse? No, they aren't. Oh, they're on the chair. Great. Now, I just need one more thing. My camera. Maybe it's on the table. No, it's not. It's under the table. Mm-hmm. Would you like to listen a second time? Or oh, my class is ready to answer. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, ready. That's beautiful. That's music to my ears, class. Excellent. Number one, earrings. What are they? In her purse. In her purse. I'm not sure the earrings in her purse. It's done. Aha, uh -huh, cheaters. That's done. Okay, that's done. Very good. Hey, what about? My goodness, where is my pencil? Number two, the watch. Where is it? In ocean. In front of the television. In front of the television. B, option B. Option B. Okay. The sunglasses. On the chair. On the, on the chair. chair. On, the on the chair. Yeah. Yes. In the camera. On the under the, the table. table. Right, under under the, the table. table. Right, piece of cake. Under the, under table. the table. Very good. Earrings. You know what yes. women wear. Well, nowadays men too, you know, they, they wear earrings too. Then a watch, then the sunglasses when you go to the beach, right? And you want to look like sexy and yeah, and the like, and then the camera, right? To take pictures. This is good, nice. you know, you did a very good job. I always say you are very intelligent, right? Very, very smart people. Okay, let's move to this one. You have to tell me if the sentences are true or false. And with this, we are going to finish the class, right? This is going to be the task. The instruction says, look at the picture. Look, this is the picture you have to look at. Look at the picture and you have to decide if the sentences are true or false. If the sentences are false, you have to help me correct them so they can be true, okay? So it's not only to say true teacher, false. No, if you say false, you have to tell me why you, you think it is false. Number one, the cat is, uh -huh. about the, above the table. Above the table. Uh, above. 
Ah, on the sofa. No, number one, I said, the one that is done. Ah, that is false. ah teacher, yeah, the one that is false. What about two? The clock is above the table. True or false? True. 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 Above the table. Mm -hmm. Yes, the clock is here, right? So simply, you know, we write T for true. What about number three? Cecilia, read the sentence. The cup of coffee is next to the table. Uh huh. Um, is uh, it's, true? It's, it's false. true. It's false. It's false. It's, it is false. false. Okay. The cup of coffee, cup of Cup of cup of coffee. Cup of coffee cup is of coffee where? Is on the is on the table. The table. Because the Sorry, cup of the cup coffee is on the table. Is on the table, no? Next to right on the table. <laughs> Number four, Obed. Read it and tell me if it, if it is true or false. Four. The, the slippers are on front of the sofa. The slippers are in front of the sofa. True or false? True. Mm, true. Uh -huh. false. And what are the slippers? Right? These are the slippers, right? Uh, so they are in front true. of the sofa. It's true. true. Slippers, no strippers, okay? Slippers. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow, va a decir ya. No, no. Tomorrow, teacher, no. Me, 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 pegan. Uh -huh. me pegan. She's listening now, right? Your, your wife is listening. <laughs> Number five, Prissy, tell me. Oh, <clears throat> The lamp is under the sofa and the bookcase uh -huh. is false. False. Tell me yes. the real. The real. The thing. lamp is between the sofa uh -huh. and the bookcase. Between, right? The sofa and the bookcase. Wonderful. Wonderful. And the last one, number six, is yours, Neda Patricia. The slippers are under the floor. Um, is false because if the slippers are on the floor. Aha, uh -huh, great. The slippers are on the floor. No, under the floor, right? That's very good. You know, this, this is great, you know? Nice. Go to the chat, people, and write. Write the location of uh, any object you have near you right now. For example, I, 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 I'm going to say my cell phone is next to my computer this is true for me okay this is true for me my cell phone is next to my computer i need you to write sentences like those here on the chat room right now i want to check your writing everybody writing everybody writing nobody goes without writing a sentence Solo los que escriban la oración se van a ir, ¿ok? The ones that stay with me till tomorrow. <laughs> my bed is next to me, says Isaac. Ok, my PC is on the table. Mm -hmm. My pencil is on the table. Very good. Um, Cecilia, check the spelling of cell phone, please. My cell phone is on the table. My computer is next to the bottle, the bottle, Claudia, the, the bottle. Edwin, my book is on the table. Uh -huh. Priscilla, my bottle of water is next to my computer, okay? My table is next to my bed. Okay, Rigo. 
My cell phone is in front of me. I'm between the bed and the door. I say. My book is on, on the table. No, table. <laughs> table, please. The table, no. Uh, my notebook is on the table. Okay, my notebook is in front of my computer. Great. Bessie says my laptop is on the table. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Creo que nadie se irá porque han cometido un error. Fíjense. Quieren que les diga. Period at the end of the sentence and capital letter at the beginning, my friends. <laughs> my dog is un my dog under the table, Mercedes, is, okay? Don't eat the verb to be. You're going to get chubby, right? Is, my dog is under the, the table. My foot is, oh, really, Melvin? Your foot is on the table? Mire, el, el pie de Melvin está sobre la mesa, dice, mire, my foot, or your food. Why? What is there? Because you can have your foot on the table, actually, right? Then Felipe says, my computer is on the table, my book is on, on the table. Everybody says on the table. Use another, another, another reference, please. Yes? Something, uh, you know, that doesn't have to do with table. My book is in, in front of in front, in front of my, Luz, in front of me, okay, me, not my, me, M-E, right? Isaac, my television is in front of me, okay. The big question, Isaac, is, is the television on or off? Huh? <laughs> on or off? Isaac? <laughs> on, teacher. Watching Caso Cerrado, right? No. Oh, Melvin says, yes. Yes, what, Melvin? Your foot or your food on the table? My cup is from, from a bottle of milk, Cecilia. What do you mean, Ceci? Re you need to reward this sentence because it's confusing. My cup is from a bottle of milk. Huh? I don't get it. I don't get it. My cell phone in my car. My cell phone is. Carlitos, my cell phone is in my car, okay. My fan is on the wall, okay, that's great, Isaac. My pillows are, Erika, because you're, you're talking in plural, pillows, right? And it's with W, pillows, right? W, S, uh, R next to me, yes. Uh -huh. And that's it, my pencil is on the table, you said. My window is in front of me. The cell, the cell, Obed, the cell is behind me. me What do you mean? Error de dedo, ¿cómo se dice? <laughs> typo, typo. It's a typo, teacher. Un error de dedo, mire. The window. Ah, the window. The window. <laughs> mire, es que está tan conectado con Epa, ¿verdad? Que usted piensa, duerme, sueña, cell, right? <laughs> Epa, tiene que valorar ahí el... Eh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> behind me, Oswaldo, is a wall. A wall is behind me. Okay. My notebook is front, front of my computer or in front of my computer. Hmm. Okay, class. That's it. <laughs> Full of typos, right? Okay, class. Very good. Thank you so much. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Como dije que si nadie escribía, nadie se iba a todos a escribir, teacher, a escribir. Uh -huh. Ok, we are going to take the attendance class because Friday is over. You can go and have fun. Teacher. Yes. How, how do you send butter in the leche? Bottle of oh. milk. Bottle of milk. No es como lo escribí. No. Bottle oh, of milk. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Cecilia is not present, right? Because I didn't see her. Melvin Aguilar. Present boy. teacher. Okay, the food boy. <laughs> <laughs> Jesenia Andrade. Present. Thank you, Jesse. Priscila Ayala. Present. Very good. Felipe Cuadra. Present. That's great. Erika Diaz. Present. Nice. Neida Galindo. Present. Very good. Edwin Gerardo. Present. Very good. Iliana. 
Present. Thank you very much. Manuel Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Erika Yanina Hernandez. Erika. For some moments, she was present, right? And then she was kicked out of the meeting. Obed Danilo. Present. The beer boy. Ah, uh, no, right? Kidding. <laughs> Luz de Belén. Present, teacher. That's great. Alfredo Isaac. Present, teacher. Okay, there you are. Sí. Cecilia okay. Martinez. Present, okay, teacher. Okay, there you are. Alberto Mejía. Present, teacher. Thank you. Bill Mortiz. Vilmita. Present, teacher. Thank you very much. Jonathan Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Stephanie Perla. Present teacher. Thank you, uh, Claudita. Carlos Quintanilla. Present teacher. Good. Mercedes Ramirez. Present teacher. Nice. Jose Rigoberto. Present. Very good. Josue Eduardo. Present teacher. Great. Bessie Vides. Present teacher. Nice. And Omar Vigil. Omar? Hello? No, right? Okay, that's it. You know, Friday is over. The class is done. I'll see you Monday. Have a great weekend, guys. Practice. Study. Don't forget what we have studied this uh, week, right? And I'll see you the coming one. So, bye-bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night, Good night, Good night people. Bye. Bye.